Hey girly, so this is the hair that I will be installing from Harula Hair. It has a wig band and then the lace. I'm going to bleach the knots. Yeah, just a little bit though, like you can still see them. It's 24 inches, it's body wave. I'm just trying to see. Okay, a couple little two pieces came out. Yesterday I went and got my nails soaked off. Hold on, y'all gotta get into my finger. You probably can't really see it. It was really bad. I can't. It's okay, but yeah, these two broke. So, I didn't get nails put on, but I am going to probably order the stuff that I need to do my nails so you guys can watch me do my nails. Um, we can do a facial. Um, I probably should have did the facial last night. Since I'm going to be installing a wig, I don't want to mess up. I like, I like to really get into it. They make it do it. I don't know. We'll see how I want to do it. But I'm going to bleach the knots of this wig. And I want to do it actually a straight wig. Because I feel like I've been wearing curly wigs for a little while. Um, so I'm going to show you guys like me bleaching it. Installing it. All that good stuff. And then all the other stuff that I would like to do. Okay so I got some goodies from the hair store. Also too my vent is on. And it, it just helps me in. Some new um, eyebrow razors. So I can cut the lace. A new rat tail comb. Because I keep losing the one that I have. Um, a razor some cream foundation so i can put it on my wig cap because i was using the powder and i thought like it was not even matching my color so i got two different ones to see which one will match my skin color neutralizing shampoo and conditioner for the wig boom it's the lace tinting spray so i got it in the shade light warm brown it says it has a peach scent we shall see but i got this because i can always make it darker if it's too light i don't want to get it dark and then i couldn't do nothing about it so i got this shade right here and this is from the red by kiss brand i also got some toner for when i bleached the knots so all of this stuff i got was 30 dollars total i was i did pretty good so let me go ahead and start bleaching the hair
Wait, I just wanted to show y'all real quick. Look at the wig cap. Don't it like a stocking now? Like, look, it's a whole different. This one, it's the same packaging and stuff. This is this this is different. I mean, I like this kind because look. All right, so this is the same number, ninety-seven, right? I ain't opened this one yet, but this one says ninety-seven as well, correct? We can y'all where do we say that somewhere? So this is the one I had before. It even looks different. That's when it's in the packaging. Yeah, like look, it's so different. It's so much thinner. I love this. Look how thin this is. And then look at this one. The material is different, I feel like. Like, look. This band is so much thicker. Y'all can y'all can see the difference. Y'all see the difference? And this is the same brand, same uh, number. Look. Y'all look at the difference. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't complaining or nothing. I mean, I am that this looks like this. This is an older one. This right here, it says five times quick dry lace tinting spray. All right, let's see. But I do got makeup just in case I need to make it darker or something. So let's see. Okay, she looking good, she looking good. Oh, it, just, it smells really good. Peach scent. It smells like peaches for real. That's crazy. <laughs> It really smells like peaches, y'all. I got this from the hair store. And I'm pretty sure, of course, if you need it to be darker, you spray it darker. You don't even got to makeup on it. I cut myself oh my god because I got some new razors and y'all clearly y'all can see how sharp they are because they is cutting okay what was I saying oh the glue yeah this is like from a year ago y'all this is some good glue because like um oh not the lashes because like when I use boho girl the, the tab the ear the ear tabs is not laying down ear tab not interesting so, we are going to do probably two coats of glue. Okay, and I want it to be like literally where my cut is. So, that's going to kind of help me as to where I want to put the glue. So, I'm going to put the glue right here. Because, like, I want my nails done, but also, too, I need to let my one nail breathe. So, I'm thinking just to do a little cute pressy, you know? Um, cause yeah, when I, I was in that nail salon, I was about to pass out. I got lightheaded a little bit. I hate pain when it comes to like my nails. That is a pain. I do not know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. I be having so many different topics. I be wanting to talk about sometimes. But um, yeah, like right now, like I just been literally. 
just showing up as myself or for myself like i want to get my hair done like i don't even like when my hair is not done um you know actually going to get it done or if i do it at home kennedy is out of town i think she just got back today i think though but um because i supposed to do my hair yesterday if y'all didn't know it's a whole new day i probably look a little bit different just happy from the the way the video probably looked yesterday um but yeah like i just really been tuning into myself more and i'm pretty sure you guys hear me say it in every video um and i'm just kind of taking you through my identity journey that's what i think i want to call it like you know my next part of my life to tune into myself like my identity journey that's what i would like to call it because like i don't believe you're supposed to stay the same all your life like i'm not saying like change like your whole like you're a nasty person now or something like you're just not a kind person like you don't show others respect or anything like that or you just like a completely different person in a bad way if that makes sense that's not what i mean by like my identity journey is more so just becoming my future self and like you guys will kind of just see it but when it comes to my content my scenery just different things like i really want to tune into myself more and you know we're getting older you're not getting any younger you're getting older I wanna about i've been seeing myself grow ever since i moved out of my parents house and like you know we as we get older, you just realize different things that you do like or that you don't like. And it takes time to really get to know yourself to even say this type of things, like to say what you like and what you don't like. And I was trying to tell you, like, don't beat yourself up about certain things. Like, we cannot do every single thing that our little hearts desire. Like, just to try different things or don't talk yourself out of so many different things because you just never know what's out there for you or what's meant for you because you back out and now it's like you regret something or you know life is what you make it and nobody can take your happiness away like everything is you know like your self-esteem your confidence yeah people can say things that probably hurt your feelings but like you need to have better control over your emotions and how you go about things like have more control so that you know because i feel like a lot of people like to try to blame others for why they are the way they are like if someone you know is insecure or if someone um has trust issues they put a lot of blame on others when when in reality you have these things you and if you're unhappy with how you're going about life or how your your reaction to stuff or how you you know think you have to change you can't keep putting the blame on why others cause you to be the way that you are you allowed them to cause you to be the way that you are like when you have like you can control your emotions a little bit more like especially when it comes to dating the cheating and things like that sometimes i mean you know everybody has different scenarios different situations whatever the case may be um but all in all like and especially when it comes to like meeting new people friends boyfriends you can't keep putting you can't keep using it as an excuse at some point you have to realize like i don't like the way that i am i don't like the way that i act instead of crying and you know feeling like so and so caused me to be like this you allowed them to cause you to be like this you are in control of your life i'm just saying someone makes you feel a way that's how you are taking it and you can control how you feel a little bit more than what you really think like that's what i'm learning like i feel like i let too many people like control how i feel not even control how i feel get me out of my element if that makes sense no i'm not saying i cussed them out or nothing but i just get irritated i'm like really like you really said this or it just somebody's mindset you really think like this like but I, i'm learning to control it a little bit better if that makes sense blow dryer
Ooh. But I feel like I have so many different, you know, ages that watch my channel. And it's never too late to do anything. It's never too late to fix an attitude. It's never too late to change your style. It's never too soon to change your style. It's never too early to work on your attitude. It's not too early to do anything. It's, it's always time for something. I don't care what's going on. It's always time for something. I just feel like a lot of people tend to just don't always want to use excuses, don't want to take accountability, like everybody wants to want to depend on others, like some people just, ah, sorry, it kind of went into the cut. Um, some people like to blame, like they did like, I don't have anybody, you don't, when you gotta get yourself together you cannot depend on nobody else to come swoop you up this is not a cinderella story you have to want more for yourself stop feeling like somebody has to come and save you they're not coming i'm i'm being so for real right now bffr they're not coming and if they do come they are someone in a mask and what i mean by that is they're not really coming to save you that is not who you want to come save you. You got to get up and do for yourself. That person is not coming to save you for real. siblings had called me okay so the wig is wigging hold on i want to show y'all like yes honey yes is it flat i hope so <laughs> okay so i had the band on so it can like melt into you know my skin i think i'm gonna let the dogs out while i have this band on just to like let me get melt some more let me cut some more to lace off like right here so. <sighs> so yeah this is what i've been doing lately really just mm, you know i want i could say upgraded myself you know just putting more into myself like this is one of the dresses i got from amazon she is giving body okay body body let me show you it's like i was looking for like some skims dupes and I found, I found this dress. And I feel like it's super cute and it's super, let me show you guys. So then it don't make sure I don't fall off the chair now. I see the bottom. So it's nice and long, it goes all the way down to my ankles and probably even past that. At least I'm back. Ooh, ooh, yes, ma'am. Looks great, looks freaking fantastic if you ask me. Boom, shakalaka. Boom. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use my red spray, like to put on my finger, a little bit on my finger, and a little bit on the lace where I cut it and it's not sticking fully. So yeah, basically anywhere that it has a little bit of extra lace. Just to blend it in, y'all see that right there? Yep. Something lifting right there. Oh, it's this little piece right here. I'm gripping. I'm gonna spray some of the um, tinting spray on this makeup brush. So instead of doing makeup, I'm gonna use this the brush and do the tinting spray. There we go. Look how. What is this? Y'all see that? a nice natural install 
Yes, ma'am. And this wig is from Harula Hair, you guys. Like, she's giving to the gods. Yes. I mean, if anyone else as well ever ordered hair from the hair companies or if you are a influencer that do hair videos as well, what was y'all favorite wig? Like, what company sent y'all y'all favorite wig that you can remember? Because this one is really nice. And this was like 24 inches and I cut it. I wanted like a, I wanted the blunt cut at the bottom. Okay, now she looks crooked, but she's not. Trust me, trust and belief. She's not. Wait, this looks good, y'all. This is amazing. Cause at first I was gonna do the little swoop, but then I was like, I still wanted to do like a good little facial, or when I want to cleanse my face, I still want to do that. So I said, let me just push it back. And she's giving the growth what needs to be. Yes. I don't know where the packaging went, but I have these uh, nails in here, right? These little pressies. I believe this is like, you know, the Kiss brand. So here's the little pressies. And I am shaping them to how I want my finger to look. So compared to, y'all can see the difference. Y'all see the difference. Yep, you're gonna use a little nail file and start filing the nails to the shape that you would like your nail to be. I'm just saying. So I'm just looking at it. We are going to a happy hour. I was working on my website today. It's basically finished. I just need to make covers for my packages and things like that. But yeah, so I'm just trying to make this look right because I want them to be the shape that I like at least. Yep. Look, see? Compared to how round they are, y'all can do this at home. The glue, I feel like this is the glue that I purchased separately or with it either one but right okay it's the kiss pink nail gel well pink gel nail glue um but yeah these are just a pack of press-ons and when i put the glue on i put the glue up here and only up here i don't put the glue on my whole nail i just put it um sorry my hair is like stressing me out i just put the glue where y'all can literally kind of see it like y'all see the glue right there but yeah, so I'm just going to file these to my liking. But I still want to do like an at-home nail set. This was literally a last-minute thing because I just needed one. I just wanted my nails done real quick to go out. But like for me to, like to do a whole actual set, I want to buy some stuff to utilize. Maybe at the nail salon. I'm a seedo. But this is for the girlies that have like you know last minute plans your nails not done pop on a pair of these and i'll get the name for you guys i got it from target because i remember what they look like i just don't know where the packaging really went i didn't open it already but yeah so we're gonna do this these look good these look great Ooh. But yeah, like you guys can like have some video requests for me. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I may produce depending on what you guys um, request. <laughs> but yeah, y'all gotta start doing stuff on your own at home. Just whenever you want need it done, like a good little, you know, self-care. You need your hair done. You don't got time to be walking around looking crazy. Or, you know, some people have the issue of that some people charge too much for hair and all this other stuff you can do it yourself you don't gotta complain about nobody else Christ you can do it yourself I'm just saying oh yeah everything that's in life except for a massage I don't know how you can massage yourself um I was like did my nail just fall off it was the tab part so it fell off okay these are super cute so from this to this Yes, y'all need to go ahead and get y'all some press on and do your own little touches to them. Hey girlies, so it is Friday, right? Okay, so I ran my errands and everything, but I left my camera here. It's okay, it's okay, it's right. So I also went to Sam's Club again. Yes, I went to Sam's Club again. Um, I had to get like some actual like self-care products. I got the big thing of toothpaste, toilet paper, Cause like when I went to the Sam's Club last time, I got like, you know, groceries and stuff. So I did this time get, you know, some self-care items. But I'm about to cook dinner. And I was like, 
I just know they're gonna be mad if I don't film it but how can I like implement it into the video somehow some way so I was like I was trying to think of a new title for this video like something like you know treating yourself at home so we finna pour some wine and make I wanted to do steak and lobster with cabbage baked mac and cheese and mashed potatoes so let's go cook I'm gonna show you guys like you know the ingredients and everything like you know y'all know I don't measure so y'all need to season to taste or taste as you cook I don't really taste as I cook as I used to because I just assume it's supposed to taste good you know you get that little touch so let's go in a cook oh. first time in a long time I'm supposed to 